Good morning, everyone. Tim Eid here, Faith Factor TV. It is Tuesday, October 10th, 2017, a day that will never come again, living on the edge, or else I'm taking up way too much space. Today's message, very important, very powerful, and I'll tell you why. Because I get asked all the time, hey, are you always so positive? Hey, you're like the most positive guy I know. Don't you ever have days like, yes, I do have days like that. Days when I absolutely hit the wall. Just like everybody else has I don't know if it's every other day, every fifth day, every third day, every 17th day. What do you do when you hit the wall? It's easy. I'll tell you what, I'll come back to that in a second. I used to play on a team with a friend of mine a while back and we were like real, real tight and he came up to me one day and he said, he said, hey Tim, man, I, I don't wanna do this anymore, man. I, I wanna quit. I'm like, all right, so quit. And he was like, you're not gonna be mad? I said, mad why? He said, because we've been going through this whole thing together and all the drills and all the tryouts and the team. And I said, hey man, I just want you to be happy. And if, you know, quitting makes you happy, then, then do it. He's like, I, but I thought you'd be mad. I really thought you'd be mad. I said, hey man, I'm not mad. You know, just do what you gotta do. He said, thanks a lot. And he started to leave. And I said, hold on a second. Hey. Just remember, this is really good for you. He said, what? I said, well, now that you quit, it'll be easier next time. It'll be a whole lot easier next time. It'll, it'll become kind of a habit. You can just quit. Nobody's gonna say anything to you. You know what's going on. Just, it'll be, the first time's always the hardest. That's what I told him. The first time's always the hardest. Now we've quit lots of things, lots of times. That's the moral of this story. Do you remember the first time you quit? I remember the first time I quit. And it felt like I quit and I knew I had more. And if you're at a point right now where you feel like quitting something, maybe feel like, I'm just panning out a little bit, maybe you feel like quitting everything. Maybe just I quit. You know what? Just step back for a second. That's my advice to you. Step back, and if you gotta cry, cry. If you gotta scream, scream. If you gotta go call a friend, you gotta call your trusted person, you gotta talk to your pet. You gotta go talk to a plant. I was kidding about the plant. Just have a conversation inside of yourself and ask yourself who you really are. But when you're done crying, screaming, talking to whomever it is, ask yourself if you're gonna quit and if you're gonna cry, do you, are you giving it everything you got? Because if you're gonna cry, don't cry to quit. Cry to go on. Cry to suck up the pain. Pain is everywhere. You're thinking, if I quit, then I'll finally oh, I'll just go back to my comfort zone, which ironically is extremely uncomfortable. I don't even know why they call it the comfort zone. They should just call it the pain zone. So you wanna go back to the pain zone. You wanna go back to the familiar zone, and now you'll avoid the real pain. I got news for you. Don't even bother ducking or crawling under a table or crawling, crawling under your blanket, because pain is everywhere. And if you're gonna go through pain, go through pain to succeed and to make your dream come true. Right now, today, you have it in you. Don't quit. That, that first time my friend, when he quit, made it easier. So now, now it becomes a habit. Quitting becomes a habit. Quitters never win. And winners never quit. And you're a winner. And so am I. So let's win together. Don't quit. No matter what. If you're hitting a wall right now, go over it, around it, under it, or through it. You can do it. Timmy. Faith Factor TV, out.